Good morning and welcome to Mile High Reefers. At least it's morning in my current reality. I have no idea what time it'll be when I'm actually reviewing this footage or when you're watching it, but in my reality, it's morning. So today we're doing another video. It's kind of like part two of my last video. I really didn't plan it to be that way, but it's just kind of the way the world's working out. Now I would be uploading that video Actually, I am uploading that video right now. I should be sending it out to you guys right now. But we had a processing fault through YouTube. I've never seen that before, which means I get to upload a 15 gig file again. And with Comcast 12 megabytes up, ugh, it's painfully slow. It's horribly slow. So you guys will probably get that video tomorrow, but this one will be out probably a week later, something like that. That's kind of how I end up shooting these. A lot of the times, um, these kind of technical glitches are a little unusual. So fingers crossed it doesn't become a big problem. But what we've got is more tank maintenance stuff coming up. So let's do some more tank maintenance on the 210 gallon reef. And here's my packages from Bulk Reef. The big long tube should be T5 lights and the bottom box should have carbon and chemi clean. And there's my carbon and chemi clean. And here's the T5 bulbs I purchased. We have two Power Chrome Super Actinic bulbs and two Power Chrome Super Purple bulbs. I'm changing up the lighting on this tank. So I'm getting ready to put the bulbs on the tank, but before I do that, I wanna say awesome job, Bulk Reef Supply. I ordered off Bulk Reef, they shipped the day I ordered, and I had my product within two days. So it was Amazon fast, it was free, and it was right, and I gotta support a company I care about, Bulk Reef Supply. So good job, Bulk Reef. They don't sponsor me, I've just been using them for years. Great company. And now it's time to switch the bulbs out. I have the LET Retro Kit for these. And the, for the most part, it's really good. The real problems I have is when I try to take these off, I do have a chance at breaking the bulb. These can be tight and they're just a pain, so I've gotta watch that. The other problem is, is when I do all four bulbs, some are in the back, some are hard to get to. And we really just have these spaced based on a measurement. And they do kind of wiggle a little bit. So, trying to get the bulb lined up perfectly and getting everything light up may be a bit of a problem. New bulbs are in, so let's find out if they'll actually come on. I haven't put the reflectors on yet. I wanna make sure the bulbs will come on. If those work, then we can put the reflectors on. Oh, let there be light. Ooh, and the let there be a dead fan. Oh yeah, did you see that? Look at that, it's falling apart. And here's the tank with the new lights. It's two super actinics from Giesman and two of their super purples from Giesman and they are fantastic. This tank looks great. The look we're looking at right now is not something I'll probably really ever see. This is morning, T5s don't come on till about noon, it's about 10 right now. So I won't actually see this look, but once those metal halides come on and this mix is in, I think I'm gonna get that look I'm looking for, which is the bright fluorescence I'm gonna get out of the Super Actinix plus that purple look. I can do some of this with adjustments to my LEDs, but I think this is gonna take care of some of those fill issues and some of that spotting issue that I was seeing and not really loving. I think this is gonna be perfect. And of course, the reef crystals came in. I still use reef crystals for my salt. They work great, they're inexpensive. I've never had a problem with it. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They're really, it's really a great salt. So at this point, I've got about half a tank of salt water mixed up. So that's a solid, uh, it's not even a solid, that's about 10 gallons. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the lids off of this tank. 
and we'll use about 10 gallons of water to suck all of the algae I've been trying to kill off out of that tank out. Then what we'll do is clean all of the coral in this tank, put a new rack in the tank on the left, and we'll take all of this coral and move it over. We'll throw the lids on top to make this tank dark so we can start killing algae over there. We'll mix up new water, and then of course, we'll do another water change to start sucking out all the detritus and algae and everything in this nasty tank. And here's that tank that's been in darkness for a week or two. You can see most of the algae's off, but we still have some on the bottom that's real just kind of stringy and hanging out. So I'm gonna get a scraper, I'm gonna scrape all of this out. We'll get a toothbrush and kind of go around the sides. I'll clean the pump up. We'll try to get as much algae out of here as possible. I just sucked the algae out the best I could. You can see we still have a little bit on the bottom. Um, not a lot I can do about that at the moment. I really got to deal with this tank. So for the short term at least, basically I'm going to be moving coral from tank to tank, putting covers on to start smothering algae. The reality is I need to get some more tangs down here. I got the first tank cleaned out kind of best I could. You can see there's still little algae on some of the frag plugs. I've just got to work on that. The bigger problem I'm noticing is it's not all just hair algae in here. I'm thinking about this thing to focus. There we go. We've also got bryopsis. So at this point, I think the best option is to get some fluconosol down here. There's a good chance it's going to help me with my hair algae anyway. The goal is to get these tanks under control so that I can actually use both tanks for fragging. And I hate to say it, I've got to get rid of some coral, so I've got to come up with a plan. The goal is to get these frag tanks to where they're functional again. Right now, they are terrible. With all that algae, they're just not usable. I was talking about getting tangs long term, I probably will, but since I have that bryopsis, it's really time to just dose fluconosol and take care of that kind of stuff. So for now, I've got the lids on over here. This tank is blacked out. That's gonna really weaken and kill a lot of algae over in that tank. This tank will grow a little bit of algae while we're waiting. Hopefully it's not too bad. Nitrates, phosphates are relatively low, but as you can see, I've got, well, you can't see because Panasonic autofocus. We'll talk about that in a second. But hopefully, this isn't too bad by Wednesday. It's Friday afternoon now. But Wednesday, fluconosol comes, and I'm gonna use that as an opportunity to do a big clean down here. So I need to pull my skimmer, I need to clean it anyway. So dosing fluconosol, I need to disconnect my skimmer anyway. Sounds like a good time to just pull and do a full clean. Plus it's October, I wanna do this before the weather gets bad. So since we're doing a lot of cleaning, we'll do carbon, GFO, we'll pull those, we'll run them through vinegar. And then I really want a new calcium reactor. I don't have the money right now, but I've got my old doser back here that I was using for two part. I'm gonna take that out, take that bucket out of here, clean up the wiring, clean up the mess. And then I really need to rehang this guy on the wall. I had it stuck up with some double sticky Velcro and it worked good for quite a while, but it fell off. So we'll use Wednesday, Thursday to kind of address all of these problems with the goal of getting my frag tanks back to where they should be. This is embarrassing. And here's the big 210 display with all the lights on. So that's five Kessel LEDs, four tubes of T5s, and two 250 watt metal halides all running at once. But the reason we're looking at this now is because I put those T5s in at the beginning of the day and this is pretty close to the look I was looking for. I went with this look because I wanted the deep actinix to kind of bring the fluorescence out and right now I think I was fully 
successful. I put the purple bulbs on there because I loves me a purple tank. It really pulls the reds in the corals out and I just like that purplish look. I think this tank looks fantastic like this. I could have maybe got away with just one purple bulb. Those super purples, they're super. But honestly, I'm not gonna change it. This looks fantastic. I love it. Will it help the corals grow? Probably not. But it's a great look, and I think the corals are gonna be very healthy under this. The great thing about T5s is no matter what bulb you pick, usually you get a spectrum that'll keep your corals healthy and happy. So next week, we'll go to the wholesalers, we'll get some fluconosol, we'll work some more on the basement, and we'll get this tank to where it should be. So if you like what I do, hit that like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one, and if you really like what I do, follow my other channel, Auto Elysium. It's just all the stuff that doesn't belong on a reef channel, Right now, it's mainly dedicated to vintage cameras, vintage cars, that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, follow me there. And since I'm a big camera guy, the reason I don't have money for that calcium reactor, I've got a new camera coming. So it's on back order at the moment, but by Wednesday, Thursday time period, we might be shooting video with a new camera. So we'll see you next week.